<laughs> Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 67 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Mysore. Deet wants to talk again, so let's humor his ass. So, Deet's taking a break at the moment when Navarro comes upon him, and he's just gazing off in the distance. Hey, what's up, Deet? Are you getting old now? Yeah, yeah, he's certainly talking like an old man. <laughs> so, he's thinking it's a nice town. And Navarro did a good job of making it. So, yeah, he's staring out at the people living here and how they're leisurely moving around. <laughs> so, his whole workshop and gang are able to work here, so it's gotten to be a pretty big place. So there's a place for him, it's a moving workshop, and it's an easy place to relax with your allies. Hey. <laughs> and being under protection of a goddess, it's easy to feel safe here. Yeah, Fia contributed a lot to the castle, like it being her and all. <laughs> As a craftsman, Avaro wants to make this place even better for even more people. Well, Avaro says this like he's trying to talk himself up, but this reaction isn't what he was expecting. Oh, great. A closer view of his ugly cigar. So, Avaro, do you plan on continuing to be a craftsman from now on? The hell do you mean by that? As an engineer, of course he's going to be a craftsman. Really? Get to the point. Okay, it's good for him to be proud of being a craftsman, but... He can't continue be, to be like that forever. Get what he's saying? No, you're not saying anything meaningful. Well, are you saying he's not a craftsman now? No, not that. Okay, so, as an engineer himself, when he set up his aquatic beast's vanguard, he was forced to think about a lot of things. Uh, to put it simply, his point of view changed. So, point of view, like, looking at things other than as a craftsman? Exactly. So, he then, at that point it was no longer enough for him to make enough to eat himself. So, he had to think about his wife and the kids that they had. So, this one isn't the first, I guess. And furthermore, all the craftsmen that came to join the vanguard. So, he had to think of, about all of their lifestyles. So, he's all but saying what Avaro needs to be thinking about. All right, Havar gets it. As the representative of Guadacuna Castle, he also needs to take responsibility for all the people here. Uh, yep, exactly. Uh, 
お前はこの先変わっていく必要があるんだ OK so in accord with the weight of the responsibility they shoulder men get bigger so from this point forward I've always got to have to need to Avaro, there's going to be a need for Avaro to change. Hmm. Getting bigger by shouldering responsibility, huh? Well, they've made some big waves in in Influence Kingdom, certainly. Uh, how cheesy. So, there is nothing that doesn't change. これから先も、ジョーちゃんの隣に居続けるならば、だがな。So, Avaro can't continue to be a normal craftsman. From now on, as long as he continues to be by Fia's side from now on. ジョーサイが新境の山路へたどり着いた後、どうしたいか考えているのか。So, has Avaro thought about what he's going to do after the castle gets to the God's Haze? He thought about it a little. So, just like this, we're going to travel around with Fia, visiting places and doing company business and stuff. Yeah, so nothing as far as specific plans. Yeah, he admits he hasn't been thinking too deeply about it. Who knows how far in the future that is. And anyway, the game will be over, so. It's not like we're going to see any of it. Okay, why hasn't he thought about it? I told you, game, over. Alright, Avaro says that he's focusing on the current goal rather than future goals. As you probably should. Yeah, okay, he gets it, and that's not bad. But you can't stay like that. It is important to think about what's in front of your eyes. If you don't continue step by step, you'll lose your way. But... As the leader of the group, you can't just do that. So you need to look further out in order to better guide the people you're working with now. Well, Avar admits that he does do a lot of looking forward, but as far as this future stuff, shouldn't we leave that to Fia? She's kind of the flag bearer of the group. And she's the one who decided on our destination. And that God's apostle is you, isn't it? It's natural for you to, to Pursue the God that the goal that your God set for you. That's what believers do. But Avaro is the one who take chooses out the specifics in the path they take, right? Right. Yeah, even including Fia. Avaro is the one who directs most of the concrete actions. The one who draws the new hopes is, of course, Fia. But the one who charts the path to that future is Avaro. Don't forget it. Ah, that's pretty serious. 
責任から逃れようとはしないだろう<笑> So Avara likes to act cool So there's no way he's going to run away from this particular responsibility だが最終的に集団を導けていないってのは責任を果たせていないってのと同義になるそれを意識するだけでもだいぶ違うぞ So if you don't guide the company That's the same as not fulfilling our responsibilities. Keep that in mind. So you're saying because lots of people are watching me, I need to be careful of how I act? Mm, that's what I was thinking, but. Deed's thinking a little different. What you need to show is. Results from your guidance. This is so it's important is only the results, huh? So yes. Kyokton na koto yeba Majime na taido ya Hitokara skarer yoni furma kotoa daihyo ni hitsione. To put it simply, you don't need to have a serious attitude and you don't even need people to like you. Leaders don't need that. Sento ni tatsumono ni motomera noa Junzen taru kekuda. それがあれば、組織や集団が成り立つ。The ones who stand at the top simply need to get results. If you've got that, the organization and the company will continue. 例えば、紹介の上では、結果として黒字を出せない代表はいらねえってことだな。For example, in the management of a company, if your result isn't black ink, Basically, a profit, then they don't need you as a leader. No,、uh, yeah. So, as the leader of the castle here, the results he's looking for is the lifestyle, is to protect the lifestyle of the people living here. So, that's it. So, that's it. Yeah, there's that. その立場から考えるジョーちゃんとお前の役割は人がついていきたくなるような道を示すってことかもしれないがな。So this goddess and her apostle. In your place, the two of you, you need to show a path that people would want to follow you on. Hmm, a path that people would want to follow us on. Is there an echo in here? Yeah, it's a little bit of an echo. Well, although you won't really know the best path until you travel a few of them. But, I'm going to have to do the best path to do it. But, those who can predict that and chart a good path are the kings. King, huh? As the leader of a town, that's a pretty heavy title, isn't it? <laughs> well, it looks like I've always gotten a grasp on what indeed Helm's trying to say here. In other words, as the people living here increases, they're going to be like their own independent country, huh? It's true they've got a few people now, but it could get that big. And if that does, they're going to be more than a town. That's heavy. Just thinking about it makes him dizzy. <laughs> so, Deet also had. A lot of responsibilities for his vanguard, didn't he? Okay, but the sh the responsibilities Deed had really don't compare what to what Avara has and will have. Hey, your vanguard isn't that small. Hey, so. いろんな経験を積んでってかくなるそんで
俺様が安心して商売できる環境を作ってくれやアバロ build up a bunch of experience and then make an environment where Deathhelm here can feel safe doing business ha I'm not doing it for your sake I'm doing it for Fia's sake thank you very much わかってるじゃねえかお前が使える神のために用意した場所で多くの人がその恩恵を受けるんだよ<laughs> This is a good response I guess <laughs> Deathhelm says he gets it So, making this place for the god, lots of people will be able to reap the blessings here. Okay, so yes. So, progress, youngster. And with that, I've got work to do. I can't keep hanging around the, with this inexperienced brat like that. So he gives a lame excuse. And actually, he's blushing a bit from how proud he is of Avaro. <laughs> Though he doesn't want to show it. But still. This teacher of his has given Avaro something to think about. Yay. And also, something's happening at Rosaline's house. Wait, I know this place. This furniture. This isn't Rosaline's house. This is Kisner's house. Ah, uh, anyway. I've always made something. Yay, clap, clap, clap. Don't say it. What'd you make? Navarro, there, you've got some incredible bags under your eyes. Have you been sleeping properly? So, anyway. Avaro happened to find these two together, so he came in to show off his new device, whatever the hell it is. And yes, he didn't get much sleep last night. He's been working on this. Right, this is a luck testing game, so to speak. So, it's a game where you try your luck, huh? Right. Drawing guidance from the goddess of connections, you pull your luck out, and you get today's fortune. What you think? Isn't it awesome? She says that she doesn't actually do that. Look, it's kind of a selling point. Don't worry about it. Like that, aren't you kind of fooling your customers? Deceiving your customers, even. Avaro continues talking about it. So, if you pay a little money into it, it starts acting and a written scurf will come out. So, this script will have various calculated. Yeah, uh, printouts on it. And he's saying that the calculations of the settings was actually pretty difficult. And he's done his own test runs, but Oh. Well, Fia says, in that case, didn't you just make a box and put a bunch of scripts in it and then leave a hole for people to draw them out of? Yeah, it seems like a pretty simple job. Ah, uh, not so fast. Do you really think Avaro would make something so simplistic? 
It's true that it's not a complex game, but it responds to the luck of the people drawing it. And for that reason, it has an exceedingly good construction inside. See, if you put in money here, then the inside mechanisms will start moving, and on a blank paper, the 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 unprepared luck will be written on it. And then, the box will spit it out. In other words, it's a portable printing device. With the paper and the ink, it'll operate automatically. What do you think, awesome, isn't it? But it's just a test of luck, right? Jeez, you guys just don't understand the romance behind this. Alvaro thinks to himself he should have shown it to Deed first. No, we want to see more of Rosaline. She's only gotten a couple scenes so far. Alright. Anyway, it's simple. You just put some money in and you get today's fortune. Regarding what you should do, how you should interact with the opposite sex. It's really groundbreaking. Alright, so it's basically a type of fortune telling. That's it! Fortune telling, huh? Sounds a little fun. Oh, even Rosaline's got a little interest welling up in her. Ah, isn't it, isn't it? This thing will probably be pretty popular with the girls. Yeah. Fortune telling and all that crap is major chick crack. Anyway. I've always just completed this model, so he wanted to try it out. How about you two? Yeah, sure. <laughs> As of our request, of course she'll cooperate. Right, let's give it a shot. He hands them some money and Fia draws first. So, this fortune says, You're godly. Today everything will go well, and every little action you make will appear charming. So, the partner you've got your eye on, we will probably able to be able to catch. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Among the settings of the box, that's probably the best outcome there is. As expected of a god. Well, she's already got Avaro, so I guess it's a kind of a natural outcome. Alright, Rosaline, how'd you do? Your birthday party will be ruined once again by your explosive flatulence. Your love life will run into trouble when your fiancé hurls a javelin through your chest. Hmm, that's pretty bad. Avaro looks at her eyes as she reads it, and they become sharp and scary. Uh huh. Now, what should Avaro say to that? Ah, <laughs> uh, Avaro doesn't know what to say, but Fia does. Don't mind. It'll be good tomorrow. Don't mind is actually. A I'm pretty sure taken from the English don't mind. So don't mind it. Yuck yuck yuck. Yeah, yeah, she there's always tomorrow. 
In other words, you've given up on today? That's pretty harsh. Okay, so... What'd you think of the drawing? Okay, it was interesting. And she thinks it'll be popular. Looking at these scripts was actually pretty exciting. But... It's a little bit plain. Maybe when you pull it out, it should have a little... Uh, my mind went blank. A little song and dance or whatever. Oh god, she's not planning on putting the Don Tafu in it. Ah, anyway, she thinks that would be more interesting. Hmm, yeah. If it just spit out the script, it would be a little bit... A little bit, uh, plain to the customer. So, or starts thinking about that already. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for your opinion. Alright, she's glad if she was able to help Avaro. Alright, I'm headed back to my room. Alright, do your best. But don't work too hard. Yeah, he did stay up most of the night. So, as he goes to return to his workshop, he feels someone tug on the hem of his sleeve. Hmm, surprise. Rosaline, what's up? So, you're not going to put that out in the castle yet, right? Right. Before he sets it out, he wants to tune it and improve it some. Really? She is not letting go. In fact, her gr grip on his sleeve is actually getting stronger. So, you know, she's not worried at all about the results she got. You know that? This was just a test of luck, so it's not like her actions are dominated by it. It's not something to be worried about. But, you know, she'd like a little bit more chance to try this out a little. She wants to try it again. Huh? Nod. So, she looks up and hit him and nods. They should have another illustration for that. It would be so cute. Okay. One more time then. Thanks. Here's a new portrait. See the fluffy here and the fluffy there? This means she is happy, I guess. It's about as expressive in the happy direction as we've seen so far. But... Her being bothered and pretending not to be as really, really cute of all thanks to himself. But this uh, fortune-telling device he thinks he needs to work on. Hey. Alright, so... Oh yes, I have a shopping list today. Hmm, not yet. What I... I bought for this. This is a mining research center. Oh man, I'm so excited to put this down. Although it's kind of going to break it. Well, let's do it. Right here. No, wait. Well, that much at least is true. The mining research center is also a twin type. 
but more importantly, it adds one to your mining level, like these mining sheds. It also adds one to your mining output. I tested this on a map. I went to some mining point and got six, then I set it down, I went to the same mining point and got seven. So yeah, it does that. I was hoping it would double it. I was basing that on... Uh, I forget which game I was thinking about at the moment, but there were certain things that doubled outputs in another game. So today we're going to go to the second map in Raul Rosso. It's a replay, and this final mission just says defeat 25 enemies in total. We probably got 20 the first time through, so if we killed 5 or so we'd be fine. But I've got two characters left at level 25, which I'm going to get to level 26. And I'm going to get more volcanic rock and more ore, both of which I need some of. To be quite honest, I'd prefer not to get crystals or whatever bones. But as long as the... You know what? I'm going to take it out. I'm going to drop this. Drop this. And drop this. You know, I should have saved my configuration before doing that. Alright, now. I'll come here and I will only get ore and volcanic stone. Which is exactly what I want, so I'm good with that. Nothing really special here. No, there's one special thing I'll show you. And then, nothing else special will happen, so you won't see very much of this. Okay, so this is the new thing we'll get to look at. Recall when we first visited this map, we had Aranrin, who could fly up these cliffs. But she couldn't open chests. But now we have you in our party, so he can open this chest for us. One unit of pearl steel. Well, this is good. I was kind of hoping for five, but I'll take it. All right, I'm done. So I got a Mayo Sakina Underworld Stone. Underworld Reeler. And as expected, I got a bunch of ore and a bunch of volcanic stones. I'm good. Well, let's see these scenes real quick. Now I need Goblinoid Fangs for more of those. Yes. But I wanted another one of those so I could, since I need one of both, I need two of those, one for both of these. Now I'd like to make a backup, but yes. Goblinoid Fang, you know. Now, I've got plenty of volcanic rock so I can make the Blazing Fires crossbow. And what did I... Oh yes, I really needed the volcanic stone for the sauna I wanted to build. Yes, yes, Sugida. So I made things. Let's view scenes. Ah, interesting So he made something interesting. Would this happen to be an anti-ghost weapon? So yeah, it's the wrench hammer of blessings. And yeah, Detail's got a good eye for this stuff. So, what do you think of it? Well, even if you ask him, if you try it out in reality, you'll understand, right? Hey, I'm asking for your opinion. Come on. Well, I'm telling you, it's outside my specialty, so I don't know. Try it out. Huh, okay. That's true, though. But, you're pretty dexterous, Alvaro. Making something like this so easily. Un Unexpectedly, more 
scary than a ghost would be Alvaro then. Yeah, scarier than that is your face. Ooh, burn. Leave it. <laughs> that was a good one, Alvaro. I'll give you props on that one. I mean, he does have, kind of have a scary face, though. All right, steam bath, or sauna, as we're going to call it. So we make it, and we call Eol in to look at it. What's this? A torture room? No. It's a bath using steam. If you, even if you don't use water, if you use this, you can get warm and stuff. It does literally say it's to warm you rather than using water to do so. But... Don't tell me, you made it just for Eel. Hmm, yeah, kinda we did. We want you to know what it's like to enjoy a bath. Don't you feel a little lonely not being able to participate? True. She is a little bit lonely not being able to have fun with everyone. So, take your time when you have it to come in with Mikio. Avaro guarantees that you'll feel good afterwards. So, she looks at it and quietly nods her head. Uh oh. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Like, we're going to have sex there or something. <laughs> Steam bath. Damn, I'm good. But actually, let's fix up my usual stuff. Where's the side tower? There it is. And I'm going to put mining research here. That led two more twin formations. I think I'm at some ridiculous high number now. More mining. Or am I out with mining? One more mining and I'll be able to do it. What's this? Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. We'll have to toss this one. So, now I've maxed out both my mining and my herb gathering. Which is awesome. No. I guess I better put down that sauna so I don't forget it. I get tons of wood, I don't need wood. Steam bath! <laughs> oh, Rosaline wants to talk to us as well. Kind of strange since she didn't get a level up. Yeah, she didn't. So, this must be connected to the last scene. Hmm. You know, I could have swore I had something else I wanted to say, but... Oh, training! Of course, I can't forget the training. Three-star regular enemies. Yeah, I've called them common beasts before. So, yeah. Four-star common beasts. Well, she's got tons of CP anyway at this point. Same thing here. Same thing here. I should go back to that map more. I mean, three-star bats. Awesome, right? And now I've gathered enough spirits for these guys. Hmm. There it is. Oh, how about that? Ah, oh, resistances. Gotta love them. Let's see. I'm not going to throw anything out at the moment, but I think one star undead isn't doing anything for me. Still, it can wait. So, that will do us for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.